So when building your WordPress website, do you find that you feel just a little restricted with what we have straight out of the box? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Oxygen alongside some advanced custom fields and custom post types to create a much more flexible infrastructure that allow you to create pretty much any kind of post type with WordPress. So let's just take a look at how all of that is done right now. My name is Paul C and welcome to WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. So to follow along with this tutorial, you're going to need to have three pieces of software or three plugins installed as part of WordPress. You're going to need to have advanced custom fields, which is completely free, alongside the custom post type UI plugin, which again is a free plugin. But you're also going to need to have Oxygen 2.0 installed. Now, Oxygen isn't free and they've kindly sponsored this video. And throughout this video, I'm going to be using Oxygen as the basis of building out the templates to display the content that we want to use inside our custom post types and using the the custom fields that we've got. So once you've got those downloaded and installed, you're ready to follow along what we're going to cover in this video. So first of all, what exactly are we going to create? Well, I've created this simple page layout. And it doesn't look anything particularly special. In all honesty, it's not that great a design. But what we do have is we have a reusable element at the top and the bottom, which is going to form part of our template. And all this information in the beginning is pulling information in from a custom post type with custom fields inserted into it. So we've dropped in a video link, which will directly link to the video that's going to play from YouTube, the title for that particular video, and also a description or information. Now, this is just a very basic example, but you can put as many custom fields as you want into your custom post type, and then you can use Oxygen 2.0 to output that relevant custom information into a design that you can then set up as a template through Oxygen. So using the techniques that we're going to cover in this video, you could very easily create an incredibly bespoke custom website that is way beyond what WordPress will ship out of the box with. So how do we do all this? Well, let's just log into the dashboard and start taking a look at how we set everything up. So first of all, let me just quickly explain that this video is more about Oxygen 2.0 and not so much about custom post types or advanced custom fields. I'm going to quickly go through those just to show you how I set things up and focus most of the time on actually putting that data into our custom template as part of Oxygen. So the first thing we're going to do is create our custom post type. So what we need to do is come out to the CPT UI entry on the navigation. I'm going to come in and say add edit post types. Once we do that, we get the option then to go through and set up the basic parameters. So the first thing we're going to do is give this a name. So we're going to call this video posts. As you can see, it automatically puts in the underscore for me just to make sure that everything is in line and it works perfectly. We're then going to drop in the plural label. So we can say video posts and the singular video post. I could, if I wanted to, go down and add some extra information in. But the reality is for this example, I don't really need to. So all we're going to do is leave it at the basics there and say add post type. You'll see now we get video posts on the left hand side and we automatically get all video posts and add new. That's more than enough for this example. Next up, we're going to add a couple of custom fields in. So we're going to come into the custom fields section and just open up custom fields. We're now going to give this a new section and we're going to drop in there and we're going to call this video details. Once we've done that, we can then go through and specify what fields we want and we can also specify where these are going to be displayed. So we're going to do that first of all. The location is the first thing I want to do. So you can see it says post type is equal to post. We need to change that and say that we want to have post type is equal to and we want to have video posts, which is the new custom post type that we've just created. So once we do that, anything we add into this custom fields is only going to display when we create a video post. Any other kind of post will just have the normal default WordPress fields. So that's pretty good to start off with. So the next thing we're going to do is just come in and say add a field in. And we're going to call this one video URL, so which is going to be the URL from YouTube. You can see it automatically pre-fills that in. The field type is text. That's fine. We can leave that as is. You can then go through and do things like your default values and so on. Anything you think is relevant to any field that you're creating. For now, I'm going to leave it as it is there. We're going to come in and add another field. And we're going to call this video name. Again, it'll prefer the next information. Text is fine on there. And once we've done that, we'll say we're happy with everything. And we're just going to come up and we're going to publish that. So we've now created the two custom fields that will sit alongside any other fields that are part of a video post. So we're now ready to create our first video post. And then once we've got some content in there, we can create our template. So to go in and add that information in, we just come up to our video posts and we'll choose add new. 
And that'll take us through into what looks like the default editor for WordPress. But you can see we now have our two custom fields, the video URL and the video name sitting below the post title and the actual details and the featured image. So we've got those fields in there. And just to show you, if we come into the post section and we say add new post, you can see those fields are not evident in there because it isn't one of those video posts. So we've only applied those custom fields to that specific post type, our custom post type for videos. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to come in here now and we're going to create some content. So we're going to call this one Charlie Sheen Transformation. I'll put our apostrophe in there. Okay, so there's the title for our post. The next thing we're gonna do is just drop in a little bit of content in there. And we'll simply just drop in a little bit of filler text, nothing particularly important there. Next up, we need to put the URL in for the video. So this is just the link that's gonna be coming directly from YouTube. So we just simply copy that and we'll paste that into the video URL section. And finally, we've got the video name. So I'm just gonna copy my video post name on there and we'll drop that in there, so that's fine. So we set up everything we need. If we wanted to add a featured image, we could do that at this point. It's not particularly important for what I want to show you. So we'll click on publish. So there is our basic post. So if we just open that up and take a look, you'll see that at the moment it doesn't really show anything. It's no styling on there. The video doesn't show up, so it's not really working. What we need to do now is create the template inside Oxygen 2.0 to display these custom post types. To do that, all we do is come over to Oxygen on the left-hand side and come into Templates. And inside there, we can now create our template. So at the moment, you see nothing is listed. So we'll click Add a New Template. We'll give this a title of Video Posts, singular, just so we know what it relates to. And we'll click on Publish. Once we've done that, that'll give us the ability to go in and choose the Oxygen Editor and set up some basic parameters for what this template is going to apply to. So at the moment you can see it says singular archive and other and also template priority. Because this is a single post, in other words, it's only going to display one single post, not an archive of all the posts in this particular section. We choose singular as our option. You can see then we have a list of predefined filters. and At the bottom you can see video posts, which is the kind of custom post type we created at the beginning of this video. So we'll check that. And what that basically says now is when we're looking at an individual post, a singular post that's in the video post category, use the template we're now going to create. So we'll click on update on there. That will then give us the ability to go in and open up the edit, edit with oxygen section. So we can click and open that up and that'll open up the oxygen editor and allow us to start creating our new custom post type layout. So first of all, because we told it what category we want to use and what kind of post type and so on, you can see it's already set up a previewing section. Now we only have one video post available, but if you had multiple ones, you can simply choose what post you want to use as the display for the actual filler content you're going to see when you create this template. So you've got something in there to work with. Okay, so if you're not familiar with the Oxygen 2.0 layout, I'd recommend checking out my introduction video, which I'll link in the description below and in the top corner now, so you can go and take a look on there and get a good understanding of what we're going to be doing in this section. I'm not going to concentrate on showing you every step. I'm just going to go through and show you how we can tie in that dynamic information. So the first thing you want to do is click on Add. We're going to add a header and a footer in. Now we're going to use one of the predefined templates in here. So we're going to come into the design sets. We'll choose Atomic. And once that loads in, we're going to choose the header and footer we want. So you can see we've got these sections and elements. So we'll come in and say we'll put in a header and we'll choose this particular one. It doesn't really matter. I just want to sort of have a header and footer in there. Now, there's lots of ways you can set up these headers and footers, but I'm going to set up what I want for this particular template. So once I've done that, we're going to come back out of this and we're going to add in a new section, which we're going to pull in a footer. And we're going to pull this particular footer in. So we'll drop that into our design. So there's our header and footer. We now need to just put the content that's part of the template structure for our video posts in. So the next thing we're going to do is, first of all, add in the video. So we're going to come into Add. We're going to jump back out of these predefined sections, and we're going to come into the relevant section. We come into Basics. You can see we've got Video as an option. If I click on that, that's now going to add that. But as you can see, it's in the wrong place. Easy to fix. All we need to do is come into Structure drag and drop this in between the header and footer and you'll see that immediately drops in where it needs to in the structure of our website so really really easy to work with once we've got that you can see on the left hand side we've got some options on the primary information so the video url the standard that we want for the video aspect and so on and if we look in advance you can see we've got all the things like the sizing the layer the typography and all that kind of good stuff 
And before we worry about styling it, let's just jump back to the primary and specify exactly where this video is going to come from. As you can see, it's got a filler piece of information at the moment, but we've got this data option. Now we can click on there and we can go through and we can choose where we want our information to be pulled from. So we need to call in and reference that particular custom field. So we're going to use the PHP function return value. Sounds kind of complicated, but it's really not that difficult. In the function name, we're going to do one simple thing. We're going to say get underscore field. That just tells it to get a particular field from our custom post type. But the next thing we need to do is just put in the name of that custom field that we want from our custom post type, which is the video URL field. So if you remember, that field was called video underscore URL. So there's our field that we want. So we're going to click on insert in there. And as you can see, that now immediately refreshes and shows the video that we've pulled in from the URL that we've inserted into our custom post type. So very easy to do. Now, I know it might seem like a little bit of coding kind of going on there, which kind of defeats the purpose of something like Oxygen. But this is something they're looking into to make it even easier, where you can literally just go in and choose from a set of pre-listed fields that you've created as part of your custom post types and your advanced custom fields. So in the near future, that should be updated to make it even easier but even when it's not, when we're doing it this way, it's not particularly complicated. It's get underscore field and the name of the field. If you're unsure, simply just open up your custom fields, go into the different fields that you want and look for the field name and then just copy and paste that over. So like I say, it's not particularly complicated, but it's going to get easier in the future. Okay, so we've got the first what part and then we've dropped in the video. We've seen how to do that. Next thing we're going to do is add some additional information in. So we're going to come back to add. What we're going to do now is we're going to come down into... WordPress section and you can see we've got a range of different options in there but we also have dynamic data so we can go into that and we now have a set of fields that we can pull in that will pull in custom data so we know that we've got things like titles content and so on as part of our custom post type so we can easily just click and drop those in again if they go in the wrong place you can drag and drop them around so we're going to add in another one we're going to say we want to put in the content as you can see, it automatically updates and shows us a preview of the post that we're currently looking at. So all the key information is listed inside there right now. So our video and our post title and also our post content. So now we can go through the process of styling everything to make sure it all looks nice and neat and tidy and fits into the design that we're working with. Okay, so now that we've put that in there, let's just finally go through and set everything up to style it the way we want. At the moment, everything just looks a little bit too disjointed, not fitting in the design. So what we need to do is just come back over to our section where we can add in the various different options. We're going to come into basics. And before we do anything else, we're going to open up the structure on the top section. So we're going to open that up and you can see there's the structure. We're going to drag and add a section in. Now at the moment, that gets dropped at the bottom, which we don't want it to do. We want to come back up below our header. And now we're just going to simply go in and add in our video, our heading, and our text into that so it sits nicely inside the flow of our page design. We can do that simply by indenting that in. And you can see as I do that, it all indents, sits underneath the section, and we can now go through and style anything we wanted in, knowing that this is going to look exactly as we want. So let's just check it out before we make any changes. Let's just save that, come back over, and we'll refresh the page and take a look. So we're going to open this up, and there's our design. You can see our head is in place, our content's in place, all nice and neatly styled, and our footer section. So what we need to do now is just go in and finally tweak a few things on there, and we've pretty much wrapped up creating the template. So we can come in and we can simply select any of these items and we can quickly go in and style those any way we want. So if we want to adjust the font weight on there, change the font itself. So let's just say we want to put a specific font in there. So we'll choose Muli. And all we're going to do now is come into the advanced section, go to size and spacing, and we can just add a little bit of padding top and bottom. So let's just put 20 pixels at the top, 20 at the bottom, and that looks much better. Now, obviously, this is an incredibly simple example of how you can set up your website using ACF, custom post types, and the power of the Oxygen templating system. Hopefully, what it's done is giving you a good insight to how you could use those plugins together to create a much more bespoke experience inside WordPress. As always, I'd love to get your feedback on what we've covered in this video. Do you think it's a great way forward for creating more bespoke websites? Do you think the power of ACF along with custom post types and Oxygen is a great platform for building much more powerful, much more bespoke WordPress websites? If you do, let me know in the comment section below. Let's get our conversation started and discuss the merits and the benefits of working this way. If you'd like to find out more about Oxygen 2.0, check out the links in the description below. Well, as always, my name's been Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.